Welcome back, family. Welcome back, okay? Welcome back. Today is the day that the Lord has made. Let us all rejoice and be glad because we didn't have to wake up this morning, okay? I'm so godly excited because today is going to be an amazing day for us all. I can feel it in my spirit, y'all. So let's get started, okay? So today's message is, when you learn to trust the Most High, you will be content, okay? Scripture, Proverbs 16, chapter, tw verse, I'm so excited I can't think. <laughs> chapter 16, verse 20. Those who listen to instruction will prosper. Those who trust the Most High will be joyful. Again, that's Proverbs chapter 16, verse 20, okay? And that's the NLT version. So, in the world... The world teaches us how to be doom and gloom and, and, and irritated, okay? And it, it also teaches us how to be disobedient to the Most High. And that brings on stress, depression, anger, and all these other fruits, uh, rotten fruits of the Spirit. But if we're obedient, then we have peace, love, and happiness, okay? So we have to remember that if we want to be joyful, that we stay in Him and we stay obedient to Him, okay, guys? So um, I'm going to read... Uh, another scripture. I'm going to read a quote and then I'm going to pray out. Okay. So y'all can go on about today because I know it's, it's, it's game time. Okay. So um, we will never be happy until we make God the source of our fulfillment. We will never be happy until we make God the source of our fulfillment. Okay. And the scripture that I want to use because it have so it has so many in here. I love this this uh, devotional. Uh, and since the Holy Spirit wanted me to share it with you guys, I think that's why he blessed me with it. So I can share it with you all. Um, I have come. Thank you, Holy Spirit. He's like, read this one, read this one. <laughs> I have come that they may have life and that they may have it more abundantly. John 10 verse 10. Okay. If you want to be genuinely happy, you must obey the most high and celebrate his blessings and the appropriate appropriate day i'm so excited y'all i cannot contain myself father please calm me hallelujah the word that he gave me this morning for y'all is just like boom like i almost ran off the road y'all <laughs> i almost ran off the road like no joke no joke okay Oh my goodness. And I'll share that with you guys after I do this video. But anyway, and the appropriate day to celebrate his blessings are today, right now. So don't spend your whole life in the waiting room. Make up your mind to celebrate the Most High's gifts today. Okay. So let's pray out. My goodness. Hallelujah. 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 All right. Let's pray, guys. Dear Heavenly Father, you are my strength and my joy. I will rejoice in the day that you made me, and I will give thanks for the countless blessings that you have given me. Let me be a joyful believer, Father, as I share the good news of your son, and let me praise you for all the marvelous things you have done. And I want to add to that prayer. Father, I also pray for all of those that are in your covenant and your covering and those that aren't as well father i pray that they come into your light into your covering and father i pray mm, father i pray that uh, we all live in the joy of you and that we wake up with gratitude every morning knowing that just waking up is a gift father hallelujah okay today y'all think about ways to celebrate the gifts and the blessings that the Most High has given you, okay? That's it. That's all. That's the word, okay, guys? Peace and blessings. Oh, I forgot. In the comment section, I want y'all to put, I will enjoy the Most High's blessings, okay? Peace and blessings. Peace. Peace.